Hey guys, in this video we're going to answer two important questions. One, what exactly is music theory? It's probably not quite what you think. And then two, is music theory really necessary for songwriting? So let's jump in. The first question is, what is music theory? Most people will tell you that it's music notation, this medieval man-made system of blotches and squiggles that is so stuffy and complicated. But it's not. Music theory is not music notation. They're not the same, so let's get that out of the way up front and we'll come back to it in a moment. To answer the question, what is music theory, you have to know what music itself is, which is basically organized sound. Unlike noise or chaotic sound, music has order. It's organized sound. In fact, you may have heard music described as a language, not just because it's a form of expression to communicate ideas, but because there's also a certain structure or syntax to music, and the logic or grammar of this language is music theory. But here's where it really starts to get interesting, because the word theory comes from the Greek theoria, which means to look at, view, speculate, or see. But if music is sound, and sound is invisible, then the term literally means to look at the invisible, which is a contradiction in terms, right? So how is that even possible? Well, it's not by using the confusing symbols of traditional notation that look more like braille for the blind than an actual window into the inner workings of music. And it's not by using finger charts or diagrams either, which also look like braille. Instead, we need to picture the notes in music, the 12 notes of music, in a different and more visually intuitive way. And the answer is to use the natural patterns of sight, color, to picture the otherwise invisible patterns of sound, music. Because it turns out that color and music follow the exact same patterns. They are the same pattern. Only one is visible while the other is audible. But like two languages that tell the same story, they are essentially one, only there's a twist. A special connection between a pattern in music called the circle of fifths and the 12 fundamental notes of the chromatic scale. And by using the natural geometry of color, you can quickly understand the patterns, logic, and syntax of music, also known as music theory or visible sound, to master the art of songwriting on any instrument, whether it's the piano, or the guitar, or the ukulele, etc. Or even notation if you want. So this answers our first question about what music theory is in the first place. It's the underlying logic patterns and syntax in organized sound or the grammar in the language of music. Which then leads to the second question, is music theory really necessary for songwriting? The short answer is yes, definitely yes, and here is why. Because knowing the grammar or syntax of any language allows you to fully express ideas that you couldn't otherwise. And without this knowledge, your ability to communicate is limited. To truly organize and articulate your own thoughts requires a certain level of understanding. Using poetry as an example, you could always recite the words of some other author and sound pretty eloquent in the process, but until you really master the art of language yourself, you're stuck parroting the poetry of others. On its own, simply performing a piece doesn't make you a poet. And it's the same with songwriting. Just learning to play music isn't the same as composing it. I mean, for every songwriter, there are a lot of cover artists who live vicariously through their works. So what sets the songwriter apart, what allows them to convey original ideas in a clear and compelling way is music theory, or a solid grasp of the syntax of song. So yes, music theory is what makes good songwriting possible. It's the science behind the art of songwriting. And with color music, you basically have x-ray vision into all of the patterns and principles that are at play. So thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you thought this was a good one. Definitely subscribe for many more videos on theory for songwriting, and I will see you in the next one.